Our families are going to the Lexington Street Armory to fill up missing persons reports and more and more of them are showing up. And more and more people are turning out in the streets to remember these people and to pay tribute to them. My colleague Kim Fedig joins us now from the West Side Highway with more on that part of our coverage tonight. Kim. Good evening, Dennis. Many of those people showing up are showing up with their young children. And behind many of those missing persons posters, the thousands of them, is a child with a parent now missing. Many of the schools are also open, which raises the question, how do you explain this to a child? How do you describe to them what has happened, an unthinkable act that may indeed define their generation? Must to understand what's going on around us. Another Manhattan nightfall, another prayer vigil, the city trying to reopen. But aboard the E train, there's no stopping at the eerily empty Chamber Street World Trade Center station, the unthinkable happening just above. Todd and Jennifer Williamson came from Trumbull to see for themselves their old office place now destroyed. That's my building. That was my friend's. Difficult for an adult to even comprehend, but even more overwhelming for a child. Jackie Olish is a school psychologist in the area. It's really hard what to say. You know, you just, you just really let them talk. Little Nicholas Hunt watched the entire attack from the window of his lower Manhattan school. Many of his friends now missing. Nicholas and his mother walked the streets. He wanted to tell his story. Saying that I heard a kid that died. But it was simply too difficult. It's important that the kids be able to vent their feelings and they're writing, you know, they're, the kids are writing stories and drawing pictures. Nicholas finally wrote a farewell letter to his friends, and other children have tied yellow ribbons with tiny notes to a nearby fence. But for any age, this healing process may last a lifetime. There will no doubt be memorial services like those for months to come. In fact, I'm told that one is planned for Central Park later this month. They expect more than a million people to come out for that. Tasha, back to you. Channel 3's Kim Fedig along with Dennis House live in New York tonight. Thank you both for your reports.